Hey everybody, welcome to 906. If you're new here, thanks for stopping in and checking this one out. My name is Mike. So today I got 100 projects, but this is the one I decided to do. I'm going to do a little upgrade on my ATV trailer, or the trailer I use behind my ATV. And uh, we got to upgrade some tires and wheels and spindles and stick around. I'll show you what we're going to do. Hopefully we can get this thing so we can uh, get onto some softer ground. We got a big job coming up and it's muddy down there so here is the trailer in question and this is the tire and wheel I got on here this is kind of a vintage I don't know this probably came from the 60s uh, these wheels are actually aluminum and they're two-piece you see by the bolts around there you gotta take them apart and I took them apart and cleaned them all up and put new tubes in them and they work great the tires are not the greatest they're getting kind of dry rotted but as you can see that tire's not very wide like I said we got a job coming up on the property here that is gonna be in a kind of a wet area so I'm gonna see if I can upgrade these tires wheels spindles first thing we're gonna do is head up to the junkyard and see if we can liberate some uh, I believe it's a snowmobile trailer with some actual uh, highway type tires on them. Let's head on up there. On location in the junk pile, this trailer is going to be the one that's going to donate the tires, wheels, and spindles. First order of business can be try to get those really rusty lug nuts off. Well, one lug nut came off, the other four rounded off. So I guess we cut it off with the tire and wheel on it. Take it back to the shop and get that thing off of there. So the plan's going to be, I'd like to cut it off here. Not through this big thick piece of metal. I only got two cutoff wheels. But, seeing so I can't get the tire off, I may have to go right through here. Take the whole assembly. One down, one to go. That one over there. Well, there we go. That was easy enough. I did have to get the tire off. I couldn't get around it enough to cut them off. But now we got two spindles. Take these back to the shop and start figuring out how we're gonna retrofit them onto the old trailer. So that's the way the original spindle, it's just got a couple welds there. 20, 30, 40 minutes of grinding, I should have that thing out of there. Put the other one right in there and weld it on. Let's see if we can get this thing off here. Grinding that off was, went way too easy. Fits right in there perfect. You got it tacked in there. I'm gonna go ahead and weld it right there and you'll never know what happened.
think I'll be good if we keep it under 100. The moment of truth. Of course, I still got the other side to do here, but we're going to compare and see how much better this looks than uh, what I started off with here. Get this on and we'll get it back down on the ground and have a look. I think I got enough clearance on this wheel. Of course, this tire is much wider than the other one was. Well, I like the way that thing turned out. Uh, this will give me some more options. I got a whole bunch of those tires and wheels, so if I get a flat or something. And they're up load range C, so I can carry a little more weight, I guess. Uh, you can only get so much in a little trailer. But, you know, if you guys have watched any of my other videos, this is just junk that I pulled out of the scrap pile. I like to reuse stuff, and uh, I think this will make this trailer a little more usable. Like I said, we got a, some wet areas we got to get into, and uh, that wider tire is definitely going to help. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great day.